Copy. Okay, here we go. Hey there, Giovanna. This is a wild chase out of Glendale, now in the Elysian Park area. You can see that silver sedan right there, the driver driving extremely recklessly and apparently armed and dangerous. Look at as he flies through this intersection, right into a power pole, flipping over, and there goes the sparks. Look at that. Uh, Glendale PD just lost him temporarily there. We should see some police pulling in here any second now. California Highway Patrol also in the area monitoring this, but you can see now a number of black and whites closing in on these suspects as they uh, attend to a very serious crash. He blew through that intersection, slammed right into a power pole, losing control flipping over and now they have him at gunpoint. At least one person on board here. We don't know what the original want was, but the driving was like that for several minutes since the beginning of this pursuit as he made his way up and down the five freeway, eventually ending up on Glendale Boulevard. And now you can see canines at the ready, at least one person. Uh, you can see one person with their hands up, a second person coming out Four people, I'm being told, inside that car. Four people inside that car. There's one suspect being taken in there. A dramatic end to a wild pursuit here in Elysian Park. Again, that's Glendale PD taking these suspects into custody. Looks like a fifth suspect. Now a fifth suspect out of the vehicle. Looks like a total of five suspects being taken into custody. The power line's coming right down on top of that innocent bystander. I would presume he or she is still in that vehicle, although we don't know that for sure. We'll get a better shot here. It's a he. He is still in the driver's seat. We'll get a better shot of him in just a second. He is rightly staying put until uh, firefighters uh, can attend to the situation and hopefully they can get these power lines uh, turned off. They get the power shut off in this neighborhood before they uh, do anything else. But right now, the first order of business is taking these five suspects into custody. Additional backup being called into the area here. This pursuit coming to an end at Berkeley Avenue and Alessandro Street here in the Elysian Park area. We don't know what the original want was, but that's the word from Glendale PD, armed and dangerous, and I've got it. I can't stress enough, the driving, we were talking about triple digit speeds up and down the five freeway. The suspect, the driver, weaving in and out of traffic, blowing through every stop sign, every red light. It's almost a miracle that nobody else was hurt before this dramatic crash here, but you saw the very end of the pursuit. He just completely uh, blew through that intersection completely lost control and slammed right into that power pole. Right. Five suspects all together. A dramatic end like this was almost inevitable, as you mentioned, David, the driving. So reckless, but so thankful that nobody else was involved, although we are paying careful attention to that here come bystanders walking through these live power lines. Very, very damn. I mean, you just can't, you just can't even imagine. They've got to get this block completely shut down here. They have no idea.
police communicating with that driver to stay in the car. That's right. Well, it could have been much worse. He could have been in a head-on collision with that minivan right there. Absolutely. It's a nightmare situation. This is still a very fluid uh, situation until they can get those live power lines uh, turned off for sure and turn off the power in this area. You can see a lot going on down there as they try and uh, contain the scene, both keep bystanders away, keep car traffic back on Glendale Boulevard. They may have to expand the perimeter here a little bit. Here comes the fire department. They are well equipped to do that as well. You can see them beginning to block traffic off. Here comes the yellow tape going up. That's at uh, Glendale Boulevard and Berkeley Avenue, which is now being shut down here. But one has to presume that e electricity in this neighborhood is going to be impacted one way or another. A small car, five people all together. It looks like they have indeed cleared the vehicle. The vehicle ending up overturned on its roof, which that alone posing a very uh, precarious situation for those uh, police officers at the end of the pursuit. Fortunately, the five suspects now taken in without incident, but still a live wire situation, no pun intended here, as they try and contain the situation and make sure that this whole street is safe. And then, of course, a major investigation that will ensue as they backtrack and look at this pursuit uh, from a number of different angles. Again, the driving was so dangerous. This is the only collision that we are aware of, but it's almost, uh, it would be almost shocking uh, if, if it, okay, let's go ahead and play that. Let's go ahead and take a look. We'll go ahead and re-rack uh, that, uh, the end of that pursuit, and we'll be able to see here. Uh, can I see it on my monitor? Here we go. Here it is, here it is in slow motion. Uh, he lost control, looked like he swerved to avoid a head-on collision, and then slammed right into that power pole, and the whole thing came crashing down. You see the sparks coming down as that transformer blew, and then there you go, ending up on its side, rolling over completely, uh, taking down that power pole, and again, those power lines coming right down on top of those innocent bystanders. The driver, yes, the driver freed there, yep. And as you mentioned, David, the right place for her to stay was uh, in the vehicle until those rescuers arrived. Now that vehicle is actually grounded with the rubber tires on the pavement, uh, but uh, it looks like they have deemed the situation safe enough to actually move the vehicle. Looks like they're actually gonna, looks like one of the firefighters actually got into the driver's seat there now moving the vehicle manually as that female driver is being uh, taken to safety just a uh, dramatic end to this just wild pursuit. Right. 
You got it. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness, you're so right. Good call, whoever made that call, good call. Didn't even think of that. <laughs> 